Hello, and welcome to another episode of DIY. Are you looking for unique dorm and apartment decor ideas? Keep watching for more. So today we're gonna to be making this awesome DIY corkboard and decor piece. So all you're gonna need for this project today is a pair of scissors, corkboard, and you can adjust the size based on what you need for your space. But I got 12 by 12. A canvas. This happens. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> this is 24 by 24, and I just thought it looked nice with the 12 by 12 in the middle. But obviously, you can do it however you want. You're also gonna need a ton of fake flowers, like I have here today. Just make sure when you're buying the flowers and you're buying the canvas to just kind of lay things out in the store, so you make sure you have enough to cover everything. And then, last but not least. You're gonna need some tacky glue. Luckily, Michaels actually is having 50% off all their flowers right now, so if you see this video and you wanna make it, I would go there as soon as possible because they have a lot of discounts happening. Let's get started. It's so satisfying to unwrap things. Oh. The first thing you're gonna do is take your cork board and place it in the center of your canvas. Now, I'm just gonna eyeball it, but if you aren't good at eyeballing, you can definitely measure it out. So then you're gonna slather this up with glue, and then place it All right, so we're gonna let this dry, and we're gonna start cutting our flowers. This is gonna be going through my canvas. My canvas is, I'd say, like three quarters of an inch high off the table. So you want to cut your stems similar to that, obviously, so that it'll lay flat on the wall. So I'm going to cut it about here. Oh my god, these are hard to cut, guys. Woo! And I would also keep the stems because you never know what you're going to need to fill in, you know? Okay, so just be aware, maybe wire cutters are better. I'm probably ruining my scissors right now. Whoa! I'm sweating right now. <laughs> Woo! <sighs> okay. So yeah, apparently this is DIY in a workout. You're welcome. Oh my gosh! You guys, this is, you definitely need wire cutters. Oh, oh, this one just pulled off. Apparently that's an option. Game changer. You can literally just pull these off the stems. So if you just want to pull the heads off the stems, could have saved myself a lot of perspiration. <laughs> I feel like wired right now. I drink coffee and I never drink coffee, so if I'm talking really fast, that's why. It's so hot in here. It's getting hot in here. So hot, so pick up all your clothes. I am getting so hot. Just wanna take my clothes off. Just kidding. You wish. You guys just wish. Okay, now I have all of my flowers de-stemmed. And it's kind of just time to get creative and place it how you want. I think it's gonna look best if you kind of overlap the sides like this a little bit. So it looks like the flowers are kind of taking over the whole thing. time to glue them on slash punch holes in the canvas in order to set them. Obviously you laid it out and it's not gonna look exactly how you laid it out, but this gives you an idea and it's a little more helpful. So how I attack things like this is just I start with a section, get the idea of how I wanted it, and then try to reassemble it as best as I can. 
And a lot of the bigger flowers are gonna have these nuts. So if you have that, then you're gonna need your scissors to poke a hole the sides of it and stick it in the canvas so that it lays flat. So after you've made the hole, take a little bit of your glue. I know it's hard to see this, but I'm just putting the glue right around where the hole is because you're not gonna be able to see it. Obviously the flower is so big. I'm gonna put a little on the flower tip itself to make sure it's secure. And then I'm just going to push the flower into the wall, just like that. Keep proceeding with that process until you have put every single one into the canvas. I would start with all of the bigger flowers and put those in first because the rest of the leaves and the little delicate flowers that you were using for fillers, it's a lot easier to just fill things in than to try to kind of put those little pieces in where you want because you can't really see until all of the bigger pieces are in. So I would start with that. Wow, I haven't drunk enough wine at all. <laughs> I just feel like this is how everyone wants to do a DIY project. A little bit of wine, some new suggestions for you, and a great finishing product with something that you really, really love and can use. I just love that you can't find this on Pinterest. Okay, so now I have all of the big flowers stuck into the canvas and I'm just kind of adding the little flowers like this and all of the different leaves just to kind of fill up the space and it's a lot easier now that I have all of these main ones down. I can just kind of put them wherever I want and just fill it up. Keep going guys. Guess I need another glass. But seriously, what's better? than crafts and wine. This is literally the greatest thing that's ever happened. Honestly, shout out to Jenna Marbles because Drunk Art School really inspired me for this project. Don't get your hair in your project. Does anyone else shed just like uncontrollably? I don't really know what's wrong with me. I just have a shedding problem. It's not cute. Is that why I'm still single? No, I'm pretty great. I'm fine. Oh, or is it the drinking? <laughs> so I glued everything down, now it's just waiting for it to dry. Uh, this tacky glue usually takes a long time, so I'm probably going to let it set for at least like 10 hours or so, just to be safe and make sure all of like the little tiny flowers and stuff are down because they weren't inserted into the canvas. But besides that, you're done, I'll insert a clip of the final product. And thank you for watching. Follow me on Instagram for more fashion inspiration, DIY inspiration, anything like that. And I will see you next time.